Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for clicking on the Wednesday afternoon weather webcast for December 3rd, 2014. I'm meteorologist Nate Harrington. Another warmer than average day. Clouds have started to move in. That's the only thing that we've seen change over the last couple of days. Mostly sunny for yesterday and Monday. Today, mostly cloudy. Won't call it overcast because there's still a decent amount of sunshine breaking through, but more clouds around for uh, Wednesday, and I think that'll be the trend for us going forward. You see low temperatures this morning, a little milder than, than what they were. On uh, Tuesday morning, 50s, a few more 50s out there. Fog was an issue early, and fog will also be an issue for the next several days. Only a couple of areas in the 40s, Enterprise and Crestview checking in at 48 and 49, respectively. Clouds have been on the increase all day from the west. Some uh, higher-level clouds, also some mid-level cumulus clouds starting to pop up. Just enough uh, instability in the air, some heat and moisture to cause these uh, mid-level cumulus clouds to form. You see temperatures very close to where they were yesterday. Actually, a couple of degrees warmer in some spots. Dothan, we topped out at 77 degrees yesterday, already at 77, and we might see 78 or maybe even 79 degrees. And checking the records, that is a shy of a record of 82, so no records will be set today in the wiregrass. The cloud cover you see from uh, moving in from the Midwest, there's a little bit of rain embedded in some of these clouds in Arkansas, northern Texas. This rain will not be an issue for us. It will be all dry. There are rain chances that we'll discuss here in just one second, though. Temperatures have remained cool on uh, the other side of that stationary boundary that we were talking about yesterday in the webcast, 45 Nashville and in Little Rock, and then just on the other side of that boundary, it is warm and it is humid. 69 degrees in Birmingham, 77 in Dothan, 79 Tampa, 78 Miami, and 75 in Jacksonville. So this is the mid-levels of the atmosphere, 500 millibar heights. This is where we normally look to see the flow of the atmosphere, get a good idea. We have zonal flow right now, which means our mid-level and upper-level winds are mainly flowing from west to east. But embedded in that zonal flow will be a little thing called a short wave, which means just a little kink in, the, uh, in those streamlines, the uh, lines that show which way the winds are blowing. These are 500 millibar heights, but uh, a little disturbance, we can call it, in the zonal flow. And for you Star Wars fans, a little disturbance in the force, you can call it. This actually spurs on areas of low pressure at the surface, and that's what is going to happen with this little short wave uh, disturbance in the zonal flow. You see the uh, showers just ahead of this little short wave indicates rising motion. The little mid-level disturbance moves through the Tennessee and Ohio River Valleys through the weekend. Now this will actually cause a low pressure area to form at the surface and a cold front to sweep through. It's going to be a weak cold front but just enough possibly to give some showers for this weekend, Saturday night into Sunday. Now the rain chances aren't that great but it's something to uh, give us a little bit of hope for some rain as we uh, continue a very dry stretch uh, that we saw uh, culminate in a very dry November and already a dry start to December. So the cloud cover around, don't expect any rainfall. I'm not expecting any rain out of any of these clouds. An isolated shower uh, that Futurecast picking up on, just don't see it. Tomorrow morning, though, fog will be, again, thick in the eastern parts of the viewing area. We had a problem with that early this morning as well. That will be an issue tomorrow, too. And then for Thursday afternoon, I think more clouds than what Futurecast is predicting, more high-level clouds and also some of those mid-level clouds, too, that uh, spur on because of the instability in the air, the heat and humidity. And by Thursday night, we'll see uh, more fog forming uh, by Friday morning and more clouds also by Friday. And expect cooler temperatures, too. But it will not be cool early tomorrow morning. I think upper 50s, I think 56s, 57s, 58s are possible for tomorrow, a little cooler than what Futurecast is painting for us. And then afternoon highs, once again, middle and low 70s, maybe a smidge cooler than it was today. But it's still going to be warmer than average, probably on the order of 7, 8 degrees warmer than average. And today is going to end up being 12 to 13 degrees warmer than average. So we continue the streak of warmer than average temperatures. Coming up in the forecast tonight on News 4 at 5, 6, and 10. Also, WRGX News at 5.30 and CW Primetime News at 9. I'm going to dig deeper into the numbers and see how the first three days of December, how warm they've been compared to the warmest days that we had in November. And I'll also take a look at that five-day forecast for you as well. Thanks for clicking on the Afternoon Weather Webcast, and we'll see you back here on Thursday.